today, Maranello, we had the pleasure to have one of the most famous uh, talent uh, actor in all world. Today for Ferrari.com we have uh, you, Grant. Thanks to be with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's lovely to be here. Um, well, of course, being Maranello, we had to talk about cars. And the first question is, which is your first memory uh, linked to a car, linked to automotive? The first car you saw was something like that. Oh, um, well, let me see now. Um, my, well, the first car I owned was a Citroen Diane, which is, uh, uh, you know, a very pathetic car. It has the power of one child pulling it by harness, you know. And it had a roof that kept breaking and would fly off, and the, a bar would come down and hit my girlfriend on the head. That was my first car. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, gradually I've, I've moved on. I now have more expensive cars. Yeah. Yeah, great. Um, you are very passionate about soccer, aren't you? Yes, I love football, so, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I won't talk about the uh, World Cup, because for Italian and England, England yes. it wasn't a very good World Cup. No, it was Cup. a catastrophe. Yeah, <laughs> so let's move on. Yes. And let's talk about uh, motorsport. Do you follow motorsport as well, apart from football? Not that much, I have to be honest. I mean, I'm very excited, because you have very kindly invited me to the, uh, to the Grand Prix at Monza on Sunday. Uh, so I'm excited to see that. But you're going to have to explain a lot. Okay. There's the first Grand Prix you're going to... That's not true. I went to one in Monte Carlo uh -huh. about 15 years ago. Uh, but I was on a yacht and I was quite drunk. I didn't really notice very much of the car. So you, you were yeah. more interested in the next of Monte Carlo than rather than the race. Yeah, I was really, yeah. Well, it won't be the same in Monza. We don't have yacht in Monza around. So yeah, yeah. Okay. You'll be concentrated on the racing. Right. Um, you have worked with the most talented, breathtaking actress in all the world. And uh, sometimes uh, Ferraris, our car, uh, are compared to a beautiful woman. Do you think it's a fair comparison? Um, well, yes, I do. I mean, I, uh, it, it, uh, I find in life I'm very, I'm very attracted to uh, beautiful women and beautiful cars and cats. To me, those three things all have the same sort of appeal for me. Uh, luckily... It's only the women that have a sexual attraction for me. Although I've started to get interested in cats a little bit. <laughs> and um, talking about Ferrari, you, you, you've done recently a, a movie called Music and Lyrics, where you had to sing, to play the piano, so you had yeah. to be an expert in music as well. Yeah. Um, so as a, a music expert, do you agree when people say that the sound of Ferrari is music? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Oh my God, yes. I mean, the, the noise of the engine for sure, but also the changing down noise. I love that. Uh, I was just I was allowed to drive your GTO yeah. out on the track just now. And that bang, bang noise when you change down. Fantastic. Love that. Um, you got a degree in English uh, at literature yeah. at Oxford University, but you weren't desperate to be, became an actor rather than a professor in literature. Well, that's not quite true. I, no. I never desperately wanted to be an actor. I know? Not really. <laughs> I, it happened more by accident than by design. So because, you know, the question was, what, what, what was the talent? What drove you to become an actor? The talent, the passion? Uh, the, the, you're telling that it just was a, a chance. Yeah, it was. I mean, I always quite liked acting. I'd done s some... <clears throat> when I was at school and some when I was at university. And I liked being the centre of attention, but I never wanted to be a professional actor. It just happened by a strange coincidence uh, just after I, I finished at Oxford. Uh, yeah. So, you know, because people sometimes look at people like you, you becoming famous uh, as a role model, you know, to pursue their dreams. Uh, is there any, any <laughs> it's difficult to give advice to young people? Because we, we got... Plenty of people want to become a Formula One driver. Yeah, yeah. What do people have to follow? The talent, uh, the, the, the luck, uh, the chance? Uh. Well, I, don't, I, think you, I think you have to have all three. Uh, you certainly have to have the talent, and I think you have to have luck for sure. And I think you also have to have the unfashionable one, which is um, hard work. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, listen, going back in time, yeah. and uh, would you prefer to go as a passenger with Tatsu Nuvolari or what we carry grant? Um, <laughs> well, I suppose I would rather be the passenger. Although my experience of being driven by very good racing drivers is it's physically extremely unpleasant. I mean, <laughs> you, you know, because the braking is so hard and your, all your intestines come out and lie on the dashboard. Um, but that would, that would be a great thrill, yeah. 
Uh, very last question. Yeah. Today is a special day for you. Can we mention it? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Yes. Why not? Yes. So you are, you are your birthday. Yes, today is my uh, birthday. Can you anticipate anything for your plans for the next 50 years of your life? <laughs> um, I wish I could. I have never been very good at making plans. I've always drifted from year to year or even from month to month. Uh, so I, I just don't know. I really don't know. Well, so no. If you manage to, as you do for the first 50, I think so you will have a Well, I've had a very nice time. Yeah, so, you know, yes. uh, I, I wish all the best. I wish all the best from uh, all our uh, viewers in Ferrari.com, and uh, thanks a lot for your time here with oh, us. Oh, no, it's brilliant. Okay, I thanks love a lot. Place. Thanks. Okay.